Hello everyone and welcome to this video and in front of me you can see this great selection of grub here that would make any fish jealous and this selection here are all the different baits that you can use or can find in the canaries for all different types of fishing. Now I'll tell you what they are as we go along and there's a couple more to add but not many. So we've got bread. Bread here, bread is a great bait for mullet. Um, it's the same in the UK, it's the same around the world. Bread will catch mullet. But also bread, especially when it's stale like this, stale bread, is great to mix up as a chum mix to attract bream species and palometta. So you can mix this up, you can mix it down on the rocks when you're fishing, Mix it up into a nice paste and just start feeding it in, trickle feeding that in. You'll hopefully attract some lovely bream or palometta to your swim. And then you can use prawn on the hook to hook these fish. If you want to fish for mullet, then you would rip bits of this off and you would take small bits of bread, feed them out. And, and then you have a bit of bread on the hook for the mullet and hopefully you'll attract a shoulder mullet in. One will take your hook and you'll hook a mullet. Now I have it on good authority. I've never tried it before though from Aram who had a tackle shop in the Canaries in Fruit Ventura for 15 years that one up on bread for mullet is an all butter croissant. Now all butter croissants very oily with the butter and they stay on the hook a bit better because they're just a little bit gooier and mullet apparently cannot resist a bit of croissant so if you want to go mullet fishing and there's big mullet in the canaries a bit of croissant for your hook and bread for attractant if you want to go bream fishing float fishing for bream or palometta bread go to a bakery ask for bread for fishing or pan palo de pescar and they'll probably give you a bag of stale bread you'll be able to buy it very cheaply and then you can use it to catch many different species so once we've gone through the bread then here this crab is representing salted crab now if you want to fish for parrotfish along rocky shorelines they do these boiled salted crabs you need to go to a tackle shop to get them now I would advise against going to collect crabs because there's certain days when you can and certain days when you can't collect so you could get in trouble and you don't want to get in trouble whilst you're on holiday so if you find a tackle shop that sells crabs and you want to try and go for parrotfish this is your best bait then we're going to miss out the middle two for now We've got the two baits on this side. We've got prawn. Prawn is going to be your staple bait if you're fishing for bream, palometta, um, gilt head, any small species. You want to be using prawn. You want to deshell the prawn, take all the shell off the body, and you can use it in small sections, hooking it on under a float or onto a flapper rig on the bottom, and then you'll be able to use that prawn. To catch many different species everything small tends to take prawn even small stingrays take prawn as well so that's a really good bait and you can find these in all supermarkets so mercadonas are very good for these and also the euro spars mercadonas all have a fresh fish counter bigger euro spars have a fresh fish counter as well and you will find prawns up there reasonably cheap as well compared to baits in the uk now if you can find squid that is not completely cleaned this is another great bait um, it tends to work better on the west coast of Fuerteventura um, but I've had a nice four and a half kilo snapper off the beach with a whole squid so squid works well too but prawn is a lot more readily available and you could always 
try and offer a whole prawn with the head. Um, smooth hand will take that and other bigger species will take that. There are big gilt heads, big zebra bream, a lot of big species around that will swallow a whole prawn. So there's your baits. If you're scratching around for lots of different species, if you want some nice edibles, that's them. Now, if you are fishing on the beaches or on the rocks for big fish, you want to use your fish baits. Now the two here, we've got half a sardine. That is my favorite bait, half a sardine off of the beaches. To be perfectly honest, half sardine and half a mackerel. Sardines tend to be a little bit more readily available than mackerel, but mackerel is a lot tougher. I don't mind either, but I always half it. It's easier to cast, you get more distance, and fish aren't fussy. 200 pound plus raise, take half a sardine. I've been pulled in to the sea on my backside by a ray that was unstoppable, took half a sardine. So these halves I would put on a uh, penal rig or a dongle rig, and you can take so many species on this. Smooth hound, angel sharks, butterfly ray, stingrays, uh, bluefish, um, spotted bass, dentex, large big gilt head will snuff this up. There's many different species, milk sharks, they will all take half a fish bait out off of the rocks or off of a beach. Now, if you want to float a bait for bigger fish, again, you'd want a whole sardine or a whole mackerel. I would take the tail off and then you can thread your line through this body, if you can, with a disgorger or something, just thread it straight through, pop out the skin here and have your hook sitting in the mouth this is ideal, great bluefish bait. You may even get a hammerhead taking an interest. If you really wanted to go for hammerheads, then you're gonna to have to spend a little bit more money on bait and I'd, I would go for a bit of tuna, tuna head. But a big mackerel, bigger than this one, will do the trick. There's one other fish you'll find um, now and again at the fish counter, and that's horse mackerel. You'll find horse mackerel and they tend to be smaller. They tend to be about five inches big. They are ideal for putting on a rig hole when you're fishing at night off the beaches or off the rocks. They're small enough to go on a pen rig, pulley pen rig, and you can cast them out quite easily and they're a great size. So you'll see when you go to a supermarket, again, any fresh fish counter will have these, one of these, or all three of these, it depends on what they've got in that day, but uh, Mercadonna's or Eurospars will have fresh fish for your bait. So there we have it. That is, these are the baits that you're gonna find in the Canaries. You don't find any worm baits, you don't find razor clams, mussels, anything like that. This is your selection. This is all you need. So you've got your breads, your crabs, but don't collect them yourselves, your fish baits, prawns and squid. Now, I can survive with just prawn and mackerel. So if you get prawn and a mackerel or sardine, then you're set. Anyway, I hope this video has helped. I hope it's uh, explained a, a bit about the bait that you can find in the Canaries and what you can use. And hopefully it will help you catch a nice big fish when you visit. Till next time. Tight lines.